good morning welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video firstly i just want to say a big thank you for your kind comments and your kind messages about last week's hello september video i cannot even tell you how excited i was even when i was editing the video and i was editing the intro i was like it's autumn i mean i know it's not officially autumn yet but my brain just likes to work with the first of the month and it likes to split the year into four. So September, October, November is autumn for me. And then the first of December hits and it's winter, it's Christmas. <laughs> I am just as excited for this week's video. We have got lots of decorating to do. I have some exciting new things to show you as well that I have picked up over the last week. Now before we get started I did just want to remind you that if you aren't already subscribed to my channel then please 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 do subscribe. You won't miss any of my future videos. There are loads of autumn videos to come. I obviously started this channel back at the end of January so I've never had autumn videos out before. I've never had Christmas videos out before and I am just super excited. Anyway, first things first, it is about 11 o'clock. I haven't got my watch on. I always do this. I go to look at my watch and it's not there, but it's about 11 o'clock this morning. I was planning to start filming a little bit earlier than I actually have, but I had a few bits to just get done. I kind of caught up on some YouTube when I got up this morning, had a cozy cup of tea, which I have just finished. And I also needed to get my nails redone as well because last night we had a bit of a nightmare. James and I had just settled down in bed to go to sleep. And a little bit of context here. I have a fear of something that is <laughs> such a bad fear that I don't even feel comfortable saying the name of it. Everyone in my family has like a code word for it because I am that scared. And they tend to start coming out at this time of year. I'm sure you know what it is, I mean. I just, I just can't say it, it begins with an S. <laughs> so anyway, moving on. We got into bed and all of a sudden, because James knows how bad I am, I have to say hats off to him. He handled this so well. The light was off and all of a sudden he was like, Lindsay, get out of bed right now and stand on the floor. <laughs> like deadly serious. And I knew like the switch went off in my head and I knew what it was. And I jumped out of bed. I mean, I wear contact lenses as well. So I was like fumbling around for my glasses because I couldn't see anything. He switched the light on and the panic set in. And it turns out that he'd been lying in bed and he'd felt it on his arm. And I can't even begin to explain the size of this. I promise this does link back to my nails, just FYI. The size of it, I mean, even James, when I see something that I consider to be quite big, he's like, oh, it's tiny, it's nothing. But even James was like, that's one of the biggest ones I've ever seen in my life. I started freaking out, grabbed a hold of like the door frame or something. I can't even remember what I grabbed hold of. And my nail basically just went, so that was brilliant. <laughs> Long story short, we found it. James got the hoover. I managed to calm myself down. He ended up like vetting the entire bedroom because even he was so paranoid to get back into bed. It was awful. Um, but luckily, because it was a gel nail, my actual nail was fine, but the gel nail literally just peeled off in one. So I got up this morning and I thought, how can I film how can I film this week's video with one of my nails like missing and just looking awful? So I have just redone my nails. I've gone for a cute pink. It's quite a muted pink this time. I'm due to get them done, uh, I think in a couple of weeks or so, just before, I think it's like the day before we go on holiday, which I'm so excited for. Um, so yeah, had to do that this morning. That was a long old story explaining why I got my nails done. So anyway, that's done. My hair is done. The first thing that I wanted to chat through with you this morning, which is very exciting, and I love watching these on YouTube because you can't shop online and I just love to see what's around, is a Primark haul. So the bags are split into two. I didn't go crazy. I did not go crazy. I bought, if you don't count the quantities, one, two, three, four, 
five different things. So three of them are kind of, um, what you call it, like fashion kind of things. And then two of them are home related things. But I cannot believe how amazing Primark's autumn range is this year. Not just the home range, but the fashion. I mean, you can get a sneak peek into here. They have some amazing things. The prices have definitely gone up since the last time I checked. Oh my goodness. But even so, I do think they're still quite reasonable prices. And I think these three things that I picked up, um, I'm going to pop kind of a reel onto my Instagram as well. And I'll try and insert some, some quick clips that I've clipped out of the reel when I show you each of these bits so you can kind of see them styled on. But they are just such staples for autumn, winter. Like I am going to get so much use out of these and I just cannot wait to show you. So the first thing I'll start with is something that I have actually already been wearing for the last couple of days because I just couldn't resist. And it is this gorgeous knitted maxi cardigan. Now it's pretty much full length and it does have a slit in the side, which is very important for me because otherwise I just feel like you lose all kind of shape. So I do really like that it's got a slit. It is a super cozy material and it's kind of a mink color. It's a really, really nice color. And for those of you, I think I was wearing it in last week's video, but the the H&M cardigan I've got that I always get questions about with the buttons and the V-neck, this is the exact same color. Like it is an identical color. So yeah, I've never had a maxi cardigan before, but I have already gotten use out of this. I will quickly, I mean, it's not necessarily gonna go with this outfit. Oh, it might do, it might do. But it is super, super cozy, so comfy, and I have just been wearing it to death already. The next thing I got was also knitwear, and it is this gorgeous knit jumper. Again, so cosy and it is a really nice length as well. If you see down at the bottom here, it's got a very long hem at the bottom and there's a couple of different ways that you could style it, which I will kind of try and pop into the clip next to me. You can either kind of wear it tucked in with a nice belt. I'm not, I'm not doing a very good job at showing you, but you can tuck it in with a nice belt or you can wear the longer length, which does kind of go down to about here, I would say. Now I have kept the label on. So this was 15 pounds and I got an extra small, which is a perfect fit for me. I think it is a fabulous staple for 15 pounds. I'm gonna get so much wear out of this as well. Okay. This is my favorite thing that I bought. Oh my gosh. It is a gorgeous pair of faux suede black boots. I absolutely love these. They were 22 pounds. I got a size four, which is my normal size. And they do actually come in brown in the shop as well, which I kind of regret not getting. I wish I'd got the brown. I might have to go back and get the brown again but they are so gorgeous. The fit on your leg is perfect. I mean, for my legs, it's perfect. It's not super tight, but also you're not left with loads of room. And you'll see in the clip, they come up to just below your knee, which for me is a perfect length. And I do have a nice pair of faux suede black boots, but I have flat ones, which I've had for years and years, like I'm talking six years, I think I've had them. They're sort of on their last legs, but I wanted to get some nice heeled ones that I can kind of wear for work or I can wear to kind of smarten up an outfit a little bit. And these are just gorgeous. I am obsessed with these. So that was the kind of fashion bits that I picked up. Now the homeware bits are very much going to be incorporated into today's video, which is decorating the home for autumn because I found some stunning autumnal looking stems. They did have plenty more, but I managed to control myself basically. So the first stems that I picked up were these beautiful kind of muted, purpley kind of color stems, which 
I don't have anything in this colour. I kind of saw them when they looked like this and I thought that's a lovely colour to incorporate into an autumn bouquet. And then when I looked a little bit closer, I saw that under the petals, there's this really lovely kind of purpley colour. Although I consider that colour to be kind of more summery, it's a really nice, I keep saying the word muted, but it's a really nice kind of subtle, deep purple colour. And I think incorporated into some nice foliage, would make a really nice autumn bouquet if you don't want one with more orangey tones and you still want some pretty flowers. So I picked up a couple of those and they were three pounds each, which I didn't think was too bad. And then the other stems I got, I could not leave these behind. These were also three pounds and they are just the most beautiful burnt orange shade of eucalyptus. I spotted these from about halfway across the shop and I just made a beeline for them because how could you not get these? There is so much you could do with them. I mean, look how big you can spread out the stem. Like that is just bonkers. You can make such a stunning arrangement with these. I mean, you could either incorporate them into a bouquet that you've already designed or, so I bought three stems in total, you could literally just make a beautiful arrangement out of just these eucalyptus stems. There's just so many ideas I've got for these. I need to find the perfect vase, but I know that I will. And oh, I just, I'm so in love with the color. It's, it's a stunning color. It is really, really lovely. So yeah, three pounds each for these. So this entire arrangement basically cost me nine pounds which I still think is quite a bargain and I'm super pleased. So that was my little Primark haul. A couple of other things whilst we're kind of on the topic of new bits and pieces for fashion styling. This top is new. I very recently, I think it came the other day, picked it up from Abercrombie & Fitch, which I need to start looking on more. It's not the cheapest place by any means, but I really love the quality and I think for staples, it's definitely worth picking up something that is good quality and you know you're gonna get so much wear out of. If I can find it online, then I will link it down below, but it is the most beautiful kind of off-white color. It looks a bit like a bodysuit, but it's not a bodysuit. It is just a top, it comes down to about here. And I really liked the square neck. I think it's a really flattering neckline. It's the perfect length sleeves. If you want to kind of pull them up, then you can. You can wear this super casual like I have, and I've just got some <laughs> slippers on at the same time. Or you can smarten it up and wear it with some really nice tailored trousers. You could wear it with a skirt. There's so many different outfits you could make out of this top. So I'm super pleased with it. It's a really thick knit. Um, so it's not see-through at all and I think you can get it in about four different colours so you can get an off-white colour, a black and then I think a couple of different shades of like taupe or mink or brown so really nice autumn shades as well. Now there's one other thing that I did pick up from Abercrombie which I don't have in the room but I have it next door so let me just go and grab it quickly. It is this beautiful turtleneck slash high neck knitted jumper I really seem to have a thing about uh, large cuffs <laughs> at the moment, but I love it. It's gorgeous. It has a small slit in the side, just where the hem is. And I really like the neck on it because it's not too heavy. If you don't like something that kind of feels too tight on your, on your neck, it's a really nice kind of loose, but still covered fit. It's a super soft material. I absolutely love it. I haven't taken the label off yet. Does it say how much it is? So full price apparently is 58 pounds, but they always have sales. They always kind of have discount codes and things. So maybe add it to a wish list and keep an eye if you want to get it for a good price. I think it cost me 40 something. So we have plenty to get on with today. It is going to be a day in at home, a cozy day in, just preparing the house for the season ahead. James is actually out playing golf all day today and he felt really bad, but I said, do not worry because when you get home, <laughs> the house is gonna be transformed. The house is gonna be autumn ready. I don't know how heavy I'm gonna go with the pumpkins in terms of more Halloween related things, 
because over the next week, obviously you're watching this a week ahead, so it would have already happened when you're watching this, but at the present moment, the week ahead is looking to be basically a heat wave. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna go super out there with the pumpkins. What I'm definitely gonna do is change over my bouquets and my flower arrangements around the house and just make some subtle kind of nods to autumn rather than going completely full out. I might do that next week um, once we've kind of had our heat wave because it just doesn't feel right. Even the sun is out today and I'm thinking this is weird. I'm gonna get all of my vases that have currently got bouquets or even maybe vases that don't have anything in at the moment. I'm gonna take everything downstairs where I've got loads of space in the living room. I'm gonna spread it all out. I'm gonna bring all of my faux stems down, take out all of the autumn bits and put together, hopefully, some really lovely bouquets. I'm probably gonna change my mind a million times, but I thought it would be something nice for us to do together, whether it kind of gives you a bit of inspiration or I can chat through where I got some of my stems. Hopefully, we can make a good start to the autumn decor today. <laughs> current situation. <laughs> I'm a little bit out of breath and I'm feeling a little bit warm <laughs> after doing all of that. I've basically laid out everything in terms of type and colour on the floor with all of my vases. I've never done this before but I think it's going to be a much easier way to basically see what I've got and then make arrangements based on everything that I've got in front of me. This is my current collection. I've got some more kind of wintry bits over here, which I'm probably not gonna include, but I thought I'd take them out just in case I need to kind of fill any space. I've got similar sort of things grouped in a pile here. I've got some fern stems, some small eucalyptus here, and some bigger eucalyptus here. I have separated them though, based on the stem color. If you can see, these are more brown and these are green. Now, this section is basically my white company bouquet, which I love for spring and summer, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna take it apart because I might be able to incorporate different bits into different arrangements because I want to have much more orange in the house now. Yeah, you've got a couple of Queen Anne's lace down here, some more kind of fern bits. You've got some Pittosporum, if that is how you pronounce it, over here. I've got a couple of stems from Neptune there. There is a pre-tied green arrangement here, which is actually from Ikea. For now, I'm just going to not untie. And then you kind of move over into the coloured section. So these are my stems from the range here, which are kind of a bit of a variety. You've got the flowers that I got from Primark, which I just showed you, and also the stems from Primark. I've got this little arrangement, which I would have showed you last week. These I showed you as well. So you've got some more of this kind of amber leaf. You've got some of these maple leaves, some of these orange rustic tones, and then also some of these berries from Neptune, which are quite wintry, but I think incorporated into the right kind of arrangement, you can make them look really, really beautiful for autumn as well. All of my vases are laid out along the back. I think I'm just going to start with my favourite vases and ones that I know I want in specific rooms, such as the blue one for the kitchen, the brown one for the bedroom, this one probably also for the bedroom, obviously that one goes in the snug, but if I end up changing them around, then so be it. Right, let's get arranging.
arrangement done, which I am happy with. I've used four different types of stems in here. So I've used the Pittisporum, which I really hope I'm saying correctly, stems. Um, I've used a couple of these, which I actually got out again from the summer set because I thought they would still look really lovely to add kind of a pop of white. They're almost like little snowballs. Um, and then I've also put in some eucalyptus just to add some more greenery. And then I've included the blue Neptune berry stems. So this vase is my bedroom vase, which currently sits on my bedside table. And I had the cherry blossom stems in it before. And I'm thinking I do want to keep quite a simple, orange, beautiful arrangement in here rather than filling it with something more wild like the other bars. So my options are the eucalyptus from Primark, the amber leaf stems from the range. Oh, I do like that. I do think as much as I like the eucalyptus stems, they blend in a little bit more. Whereas these orange stems just give it such a pop of colour, don't they? So that's a couple more bouquets done. I've done all of the amber leaf sprays in my big bedroom vase. And then in the smaller version, I've actually popped these little hobby craft stems, which needed a little bit of bending <laughs> and a little bit of manipulating. I haven't included the bunny tails because I thought it was just fine without. So that will make a really nice kind of sideboard display or maybe up on that windowsill there, I think will look really nice. some beautiful autumn bouquets there's quite a few that I didn't end up using which I am just going to pop to one side in case I happen across another vase or if I want to change anything up a bit these ones down at the end I need to pop into my floor vase which is currently in the guest bedroom I'm not sure if it will match in there so I'm going to have a bit of a play around with it but yeah this is what we went for so <laughs> I'm like sat on the sofa so that I can show you everything so you've got the one at the end which I said was for the kitchen I've made this cute little one down here with just some eucalyptus and some pretty flowers which I will pop somewhere <laughs> I haven't decided where yet you've got the small one down there which I showed you you've got the amber leaf and the eucalyptus which I have popped into here and then this vase which is from the range which lots of you asked about um it's 10 pounds it's on the website I will link it down below I used for the neutral colored leaf stems as well so I just need to figure out where to put all of these now but I would say it has been a success so this is the arrangement that I'm going to keep in the kitchen. I do actually have a new table runner, which I wanted to show you. I ordered it a few days ago. It did come quite quickly and it is from Sophie Allport. There was a special sale on, so I managed to get 20% off this. It is the most gorgeous like acorn oak leaf table runner, which they've actually designed in partnership with the National Trust. And I do think a portion of the money that it, uh, kind of goes into buying it actually goes to the National Trust as well. So as you can see, I haven't opened it yet and I wanted to use it once I had created my kind of autumn display in the bouquet, I wanted to use this for the table as well. So you will be witnessing it the same time as me going on the table. I don't know what it was. I think it was just the contrast between the runner and the bouquet that I had. 
I think it just looked a bit too Christmassy. It's definitely what I'm going to have from kind of November onwards. But I thought I would just add in a couple of these kind of yellowy burnt orange flowers just to give it a bit of autumn life because, yeah, it was bugging me. It was bugging me. So I do think it looks a lot better. I need to fill it out with one more thing from the back because there's just one gap. But yeah, I think it looks a bit better. Let me know what you think. I am going to keep my rustic kind of kitchen garden candles on the table because I do still think you can get away with these for autumn. I'm unsure about the candlesticks. I'm not sure how I feel about those, whether they match or they don't match. I'll keep them there for now, but I might end up finding like a darker wood or even just a wood style of candlestick that goes slightly better with the bouquet. Another thing I picked up actually, which I just spotted and I haven't showed you, is I got some bulbs, which I've never had before. Um, but I think I'm gonna start planting these mid to late October and fingers crossed, I will get some beautiful flowers in the summer. So the first one I picked up was a name I can't pronounce, Iphion Uniflorum. Charlotte Bishop, we'll call them. Um, but they supposedly smell really nice. They smell nice and sweet. You get 10 bulbs in the pack. And then I also got a couple of Allium bulbs. So I got some beautiful kind of white and purple ones, which are known as Graceful Beauty. And then these, I feel like are kind of the most well-known Alliums that people just instantly spot. Um, and that is the beautiful purple ones there. So you get six of those and seven of those. It says to plant them from August onwards, but I think I'm gonna do it, as I said, mid to late October, because the weather is at the moment gonna be quite warm in September, and I don't want there to then be early shoots coming out and then the frost just kills them all. So I will leave it slightly later in the year. But yeah, I thought I'd show you those. I'll do them with you in October and fingers crossed, we can get some beautiful alliums and flowers next year. But I thought I'd show you because now I think is the kind of time of the year where you can get some good prices on bulbs and you can kind of get them in bulk and you can start stocking up for your autumn planting. This is the little arrangement that I've made for the basket on the stairs which I'm super happy with. I've put the green bouquet, which is pre-made from Ikea, along with a couple of autumny stems from the range. And I'm really happy with the look. I will probably pop something down on this side, maybe even the pine cones that I've got upstairs, as long as it doesn't look too Christmassy. But yeah, I think from all angles, it looks like a pretty little autumn addition to the stairs and to the hallway. In the study, I have put the small brown rustic vase, which I think looks really pretty on this table. It just needed something small on here. I didn't want anything that was gonna be bigger than a lamp or anything that was going to kind of take away from the chair and everything kind of together. So yeah, I think it blends in quite nicely, gives a nice rustic effect to the corner. To the snug, which I am obsessed with. So there's two things that I've popped into here. The first is the beautiful kind of deep orange eucalyptus from Primark, which I just think suits the green so perfectly. I'm going to swap out this cushion for something to match the bouquet a bit better. And then if I spin you round, just for now, I've popped the floor vase with the beautiful burnt orange stems down on here. I think it's nice actually giving this section a bit of height because it's a big bit of wall that's kind of not got much going on. So yeah, some really nice autumnal additions in here. I'm actually gonna have to get changed shortly because walking up and down these stairs in this weather <laughs> is absolutely killing me. I am boiling hot. Anyway, into what is a very dark bedroom because I've got the curtains drawn. Let me show you the two arrangements that I've popped into here. I will open up the curtains so that we can actually see what we're looking at. Excuse the unmade bed, 
but I absolutely love these amber leaf stems in here. I think they look gorgeous. I need to change out the cushion and just fiddle around with the accessories. I think I probably need to take out the green because it maybe clashes a little bit with the gray background, but the stems themselves and the vase, I am super pleased with, and I think they look fabulous. I just need to kind of dress the room around them now. Over on this side, I have made a start to the styling. Very simple, very quick. <laughs> so I've popped in the arrangement that I did in my Ikea vase with the flowers from Pine and Oak. And I actually popped the last of the berry stems in here as well because I thought it looked quite pretty. And then, yeah, just some simple tray styling. So I've used the hyacinth tray that I got from the range with a pretty styling book and my church gate clock, which I got from Dunelm. I get a lot of questions about this clock. <laughs> it is new, um, it's from the church gate range and it's only eight pounds, so it's quite a bargain. A couple of cute additions in here. So I decided to put the, the range Ava vase down in here. I thought that the neutral color would look really nice in here. I went for a very small pop of orange on the bed just to kind of give a bit of a hint to autumn without going overboard because I think too much orange in this room will just clash with the beautiful wallpaper and the nice country print on the wall. So it's just a very subtle bit of orange. Now you may notice that my dressing table has moved. I did put a couple of stories onto my Instagram, so if you do follow me over on there, then you will already know, but I decided to listen to a lot of the comments that I had on my videos over the last couple of weeks about the dressing table and I did decide to move it under the window. I really wasn't sure at first, but now that it's been a few days and I've gotten used to it, I do think it was the right thing to do. So my task now is to find something to fill this corner with. I don't want to put too much in it. I think something simple like a plant or a floor vase or maybe some beautiful trunks would be perfect. A lot of people did on my Instagram say that a chair would be quite nice in here, but I don't really want to take up too much space there's kind of still a lot of furniture going on and I just want something really simple and I think in this kind of corner maybe less is more if you have any ideas then let me know but I think I'm going to keep an eye out for a beautiful kind of tall oak uh, floor lamp and then I can pop this bedside table lamp somewhere else so it is a few hours later now I actually popped out after I'd finished doing some bits around the house, hence why I have my sunglasses on my head. I've only just realised that they're still on my head and it does feel a bit strange doing an autumn video with sunglasses on my head. So I'm going to <laughs> take them off of my head. I've just checked the weather forecast again for this week and three days in the next seven days say 29 degrees and the rest say 28. But anyway, yeah, I thought I would just quickly pop out. I just had a couple of errands to run, things that I needed to get done before the working week starts. Um, and I've just settled down in the snug. I should have made myself a cup of tea, actually, but I didn't think to do that. I don't know if I told you, but I have started watching Virgin River and I am really, really enjoying it. It's actually the perfect timing because I didn't realize how autumnal the program is. I don't know if like the whole thing is supposed to be set in autumn but just the place where it's set just feels so like nostalgic and autumnal and just it is just the most beautiful setting for them to have made this program and I started watching it I think a few years ago and for whatever reason I think I just was watching a few things at the same time and I didn't really get into it. And then I started watching it again this time and it is just the perfect, like, Sunday afternoon, cup of tea, afternoon by yourself, kind of easy watch programme. I absolutely love it. Now, I know I'm really, really late to the game and I know most of you have probably already watched it if you have Netflix. So just bear with me. But I figured now was a good time to properly start watching it because there is a new season, I think season five, which comes out at the start of September, which is basically any day now. I mean, it's already the start of September. So yeah, I'm going to catch up. I think I'm on season three, episode something. Obviously, I won't give any spoilers, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's an easy watch, but then there's also some really, really good plot lines and 
some of it is kind of like you know quite intense some of the scenes have made me cry <laughs> like actually cry and i haven't been able to stop watching it's yeah it's it's full of different things in different storylines so yeah i won't keep rabbiting on but definitely a recommendation if you haven't already watched it to go and watch virgin river and just get yourself through the first few episodes and hopefully you will then get sucked in and you won't want to switch it off. I'm currently quizzing James on his knowledge. What just hit the back <laughs> of my head? Blackberry. Why do you have an obsession? James has an obsession, I'm not even joking, about picking blackberries off of this <laughs> and trying to aim them up my head. And they always get stuck in my hair. Look at the, to look at the colour top I'm wearing. You need to not throw blackberries at me right now. Oh my goodness. Can I just say though, how beautiful is this evening light? I just said to James, there is no way I can sit inside and not go out for a walk this evening. I mean, I haven't really done any exercise today and I haven't really been outside. I know, I've been walking for seven hours. And James has been walking for seven hours playing golf. Mm. My terrifying face <laughs> is here on purpose because actually I don't have a choice. I planned to have a nice cosy evening and end the vlog properly once we got back from our walk but the reason I am currently sat here in the darkness with one candle lit behind me is because we have a power cut. The whole road has a power cut. We were watching TV and it suddenly all went off and we went into darkness and it looks like the whole street has gone out because the entire road outside is just pitch black. So yeah, <laughs> that's that. I'm not gonna make you look at my terrifying candle lit uh, 9 p.m. face for much longer. I will leave the vlog there. James has got the um, his phone on behind me, providing the only source of entertainment that we now have. So yeah, hopefully the power comes back on. Hopefully you've enjoyed this week's video. Sorry about the rubbish ending. Um, and I will definitely catch you next week, hopefully with some power. Goodbye.